<laughs> That's great. <laughs> actually make a shell around it so we did made like a quasi shell. Alright. Okay, so our um, pet is Gerard the Duck, and he responds to sound a lot, so I'm going to go through everything he's supposed to do first so that I don't have to talk in the middle of it and send him off. Um, when he sees the light sensor, he's going to go into his first state, and... Uh, in that state, he's going to listen for a sound, and if he hears someone talking to him, he's a friendly duck, so naturally he's going to want to have a conversation with them. Oh, go ahead and laugh. so happy. Aww. And then he'll go back to his, his object avoiding state. And actually, um, one thing that you might not notice is that he's, he's using up a lot of energy, so he's getting pretty tired, and he actually slows down over the period of five minutes. So, like, you can tell he's going a lot slower than he was before. Okay. He's, he's hungry. Now. He's hungry, so he gets some Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. <laughs> Heal! Roar! I think I've got to do this. Now he sees the prey and the touch sensor is pressed. So he goes straight into attack mode. He goes really quickly to charge the prey. And then once he gets oh so far, he starts eating it. As you can see, he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> and after he eats for a little while, he starts getting tired, gets more tired. He's still kind of hungry, but he's, he's moving away now. He has. Get his stuff. Point. You gotta tickle it at the right time, apparently. <laughs> you gotta tickle it in the right way. Yeah, in the right way, of course. Now it's laughing. We didn't, we didn't have a good laugh, so we just playing a song. It's his laugh. Now it's waddling. It's gonna start avoiding some objects here. Do it like right to avoid things. Because uh, Babe was a sheepdog in the movie, he also responds to whistles. So. so he'll stop and wait. Babe wants to know if something's happening or not. <laughs> His name is Snuggles, son of Trogor. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, right now, Snuggles is asleep, but. If he sees that it's bright outside, then he'll wake up. So he's just gonna, you know, flap around. You wanna... Oh, I'm gonna keep it down, I don't wanna irritate him. 
Uh, so he's just going to fly around until something gets in his way. Like so. He's going to see it, he's going to turn around a little bit, he's going to keep on flying. Keep on flying. Now, for the, this next part, we're going to need a volunteer. Who would like to come down here? What about you in the back? This one's a one-man show, so we're going to let them try to ask for audience participation. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> so you've all seen the movie E.T., right? Yeah! And E.T. stands for extraterrestrial. She's a little alien right now, among the bonds of humanity. So E.T. that's crash landed on the earth, he's trying to find his way back home. And to trigger him by acting, he puts some sun on him. And he starts moving. Now E.T. is a very inquisitive creature you saw in the movie. He likes to explore, he explodes the ground. He gets too close to something. Her back up and adjusts when he's moving. Keeps on exploring, keeps on exploring. E.T. though, it gets a little scared sometimes. I trigger him a little too loud. And he'll get frightened, he runs away, too much noise. There is one way to calm down E.T. though. You have to go in and give him a hug. So they want to come give him a hug. It's